Hi guys, this is Vivek. This video is in continuation to my previous video wherein I have tried to do water electrolysis to extract oxygen. I wanted to do some improvements last time to get a better output. I have made those improvements iteratively and this is the final uh, what I have got right now. Before showing you the exact output and the uh, apparatus, I'll, I'll show you what are the things with, which I have changed now. Firstly, this is caustic soda which I wanted to add into the water last time. So this time I've got it from the market and I've added it in the, into the water. You can see the water is a little translucent. So this is because I've added caustic soda into it. Second improvement that I've done is I have uh, improved the adapter. This is a 12 volt and 2 ampere adapter. Last time the adapter which I was using was giving the ampere rate of 0 0.7 this is giving the actual ampere rate as 0.17 1.7 actually sorry so this is 1 ampere more than what I was using last time third and last improvement which I have done into this apparatus is I have improved the electrodes uh, it was it was screws last time but this it's, it is spoon now spoons are better now and like they are stainless steel coming to the performance and output of this apparatus uh, as you can see there are clearly visible fumes coming out of the cathode and there are good uh, fumes coming out of anode as well uh, slightly less visible on the camera but with naked eye they are visible so uh, the output has improved a lot from the last time sadly it still doesn't seem to be sufficient to be used for medical purposes and also uh, these are fumes coming out of the uh, electrodes uh, I was initially expecting bubbles so really need someone to guide me on that who is actively doing uh, chemistry experiments uh, so as of now this is the final output we have been able to do water electrolysis the output has also increased a lot uh, but I am afraid if this is ready to be used for any medical purposes